Mr. Manusakis, um, you have great uh, uh, experience in uh, before the meat uh, uh, storage and uh, pumped storage, etc. So we've heard that various things. How do you perceive all that? First of all, I'd like to thank uh, for the invitation to the conference and uh, with everything that I've uh, been hearing from government officials over the uh, recently, I'm uh, more kind of pleased and a little bit more um, less concerned uh, because it's the concerns that uh, the investor had in terms of the stability of the system with a mass introduction of renewables. Uh, and I, I, it's very important that we're now talking about the system. Uh, um, talking about the stability of the system. Now, the the narrative on, in terms of what's been happening until today, I think it's, um, it's normally painted on kind of more gray colors than it should actually be. What we've actually achieved here is something that other countries have not achieved. Uh, we've leveraged uh, our uh, solar and uh, wind capacity, and especially the solar, with uh, great success. Uh, the fact that we continue to receive investors who are asking for uh, licenses to connect to the system, which is just a piece of paper. It means that uh, everybody seems to believe that sooner or later this is going to become a reality. How is that going to happen? Uh, the technologies that uh, help with the stability of the system are going to be improved, and that will allow n uh, the introduction of new renewables. Uh, we heard earlier that uh, these technologies are going to be different and, and over the, the course of um, time, then we're going to see the different kind of, you know, percentages. We hear about the demand response, which is great. Of course, I'm, but if we going to go to the demand response approach. If uh, people who are not going to participate when I ask them to do so, what's going to happen to them? Therefore, there needs to be some time for um, a certain issues to be matured in terms of regulation, in terms of uh, the cost of batteries. This is something that in the past, uh, it was about the gap. So it was uh, the situation was about minding the gap. So we have the capacity, but we need to make sure that we do not have Yeah, this is why I talk about curtailments earlier, because this is some, yeah, that, that's true. This is just a, uh, a commercial kind of element, which is actually cheaper than storage. So the issue is to have a uh, clear framework for that is known to investors so that they can integrate that to their business plans in order for investments to move forward, knowing that these curtailments are going to go down over the course of time. Another element I'd like to highlight today is that uh, when talking about the electric space, we need to be clear that we're talking about an abstract kind of space that uh, we're given on a piece of paper. We're not talking about uh, electrified sources. Uh, therefore, uh, you know, I'd like to give some information here. What well, anyone who has. Anyone who has uh, permits in for the last uh, three years, so therefore now we have, for example, three gigawatts, which uh, have not been uh, electrified. Um, th therefore, we need to also move to that direction because in the big when we were in the beginning of the curve and we were not interested in the electric space, things were a little bit more relaxed. Um, there's also, and, and in terms of the te the connection uh, terms, then there's also the operation part, which is a separate license that's required by the ministry. All this needs to be a lot stricter, uh, in order, just like all investments, uh, like the minister said earlier, that every investor needs to uh, undertake a risk, since there is a certain scarcity and in the electric space, uh, then. Only those who can not, you know, the permits should not be given uh, to people who can go to a, a, uh, another market and sell it to another market and who will then come to uh, the energy market in Greece. 
So this is a proposal that uh, you're making, isn't it? I think this is something that was mentioned by the minister earlier. It's one of the things that are going to happen and it's something that's being discussed in the ministerial working groups in order to increase uh, electric space and make it more usable than it currently is. Uh, the minister uh, mentioned earlier that before the meter uh, store, uh, batteries, the standalone batteries, all these things are going to be used and also curtailments, at least midterm, uh, in order to have a smoother transition, just Mr. Chaff was mentioned, with the lights on. This is our issue. I will come back to this. And we're going to be talking about this uh, all the time, even after the panel and in future conferences, of course.